Hi, my name is Eric Latender, and I wrote the book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. And today, I wanted to talk about dog training collars and the effect that they have on your training. A lot of dog owners don't know that training collars will affect their training, but using the wrong collar can really affect their dog's personality. And the big thing about dog training is that we want to enhance the dog's behavior and personality. We don't want to harm it. So there's some different types of collars that you can use. And on the screen, there's the flat buckle collar and the gentle leader. Those are considered positive reinforcement collars. And then you have your negative reinforcement collars, which would be the electronic collar, the prong collar, and the choke collar. When I'm training a dog, I try to focus 90 to 100% of my training using positive reinforcement. Because as I said, I want to make sure that I still have a happy, stable, fun dog. And believe it or not, if you use prong collars and choke collars and electronic collars, they start to have an effect on the dog. If you put this type of collar on your dog and he gets 10 to 15 to 30 corrections a day or a choke collar or an electronic collar, as he's getting those corrections, it will start to take an effect on the dog's personality. The other thing that we see with negative reinforcement is that we can't use it on young dogs. Training should be able to be done at any age. I start training dogs at eight to nine weeks old. If I use these types of collars, the choke collar and the prong collar, I wouldn't be able to do this type of training because it's just puppies can't handle it. And if you start too early, you develop aggression problems in dogs. So as I said earlier, dog training should not change your dog's personality. It should enhance it. And the better you are at training, the happier and more stable dog you'll have. Thanks for watching and good luck training your dog.